so to smooth it we'll first select this body press F4 and then go to polygon select all the faces and down here we have got these numbers polygon smoothing groups you can just press to any numbers and you'll see that you have got somewhat smoother than before it looks much more better than as it was before so you can do the same thing to th these other parts as well sorry for this part get all and then do the same thing anything okay this one also looks pretty good than it as it was before but after doing this kind of smooth then you'll just get uh, little black parts or look like something it's weird when you render it out you'll have little bit but that won't be a problem when you texture it it will almost be covered but for low poly or maybe if you are using it for games uh, it's good to have low poly so but I think it's um, my model is little too high higher than that yeah, about here mis in missiles but actually it's uh, pretty low poly if you're using it for games then you'd want to smooth it you are you don't want to lift that jagged faces right there or maybe if you are using for films or for any other pro other project 3d molding project or anything then you may want to smooth them out using turbo smooth or mesh smooth so if we apply a turbo smooth to our model now let's see with two iteration isoline display if you see we have got lots of problem right here it looks like a fish fin and we have got this one separated here we have got uh, mistar cuts that was of no use yeah we have not got this right it looks like as if it has been pinched so uh, it, it don't look good at all so we need to add some support segments before we do any smooth out works mm, just pull them down okay we need to add some support edges so before that let me just hide all these missiles for a while just high selection okay so we need to add some support edges right around the corners so let us start with this wing uh, go to edges select all these edges and then just connect slide it down with very low amount about minus 99 okay and then again select this connect okay and even this one as well ring connect this time we'll be doing two segments and then just boost up the pinch okay now along this side as well select one ring connect only one segment right here no pinch slide it over okay then this one right here ring connect um, slide it down okay those looks pretty good maybe I'll add one segment right in the middle as well uh, ring connect or maybe two no slide Just, okay okay before doing other let us try it once so how does it looks mm, just in this one wing two iteration I saw line display okay that looks pretty good we don't have a, any of that kind of problems now okay just delete this one and let's do the same thing on the other side or you may also just delete the half part and again symmetry or mirror it alright in my case I'm going to do it again because uh, when I, s I think I already told you guys when I just did it at first I have spent a lot of time on welding each and every point so I think this one will be more faster 
we disconnect with two segments pinch okay and just select this one right here ring then just connect I'll do two for this one as well no problem okay and then for this side ring connect only one segment no pinch slide it down okay for this one as well ring connect okay so if you guys think that it will be more time consuming than doing a duplicate mirroring it then at first also you, when you just created half part you, you could have added some segments and then just duplicate it I think that will be more easier okay now select this segment right here sorry this one right here ring connect two segments no side pinch it up okay that's good as well now for this front part we're going to add a segment right here connect push the pinch up okay and maybe I think we need to scale this down okay mm, this part looked good when we just moved it at that time uh, so let me add for this part these edges round ring then let me just connect them slide ok then just select this ring connect just one no pinch slide actually when you are using one segment there will be no effect of pinch so you don't need to reduce that as well okay select this one ring and then just connect Oops. that's not good okay I think we'll select this one and ring it and then just connect them slide it down okay and for this one ring connect and this one sorry just connect okay and select this one right here ring connect so we're just adding some support edges for our smooth turbo smooth okay doing the same part for here as well mm, this one just ring it connect we'll do two this time no slide only pinch okay and then for this one selecting this the ring connect only one this time slide it down okay ring connect again same thing ring connect down okay this one also ring connect okay good um, maybe we need to add some in here as well select this A's ring connect let me do it too this time no slide pitch down okay or maybe for this one we'll just do a loop and do a chamfer okay Okay, let me go and. Okay, 
okay let me add one right here as well ring connect just only one slide it down okay now let us go ahead and see how our turbo smooth looks turbo smooth with two iterations isoline display so we are getting a little round here we need to add some support A's right here I think that's it we don't need to add anything in other places this one's wing looks good this down part also look good okay we'll add some right here let's delete this so what we can do is uh, I'll just select these right here and just ring and just connect slide it over about here I think this should fix it fix our problem turbo smooth yeah you can get it it hold pretty well yeah, and that holding pretty well that's good so let us do that same thing in this part as well uh, ring connect okay okay now for this part um, this part right here select this ring connect Okay, ring connect. Okay. Oops, I think we didn't add it any. Okay. Now we may need to add some support edges for this one first. Let me check how does it looks. Turbo smooth. Okay, we need at the top part um, and some at this part as well. Okay, let's delete this one. Select these edges right here. Ring, connect. Maybe around here. Ring. don't make it too close it won't be looking good if you do that so try to make it as close but not too close okay okay mm, maybe we'll just chamfer this one very less amount maybe add one right in here connect or maybe we'll do two segments with pinch added okay same for this another side ring connect okay um, let me add a turbo smooth one more time okay this time it looks pretty good the segments hold up pretty well yeah that's good uh, so let me turn this one for this one as well with isoline display <coughs> okay that's good maybe we can add for this one as well turbo smooth I'll be needing two for this one just one will be fine if you want to make it look a little good you can just add some more support segments right here as well to these parts turbo smooth but I think that these missiles look good without the turbo smooth but your wish if you want to add some turbo smooth you can do that but if you don't like that you can just not add turbo smooth mm, but those missiles look pretty good but 
you can see some jagged face here so go to polygon do this you can just smooth by this one as well it looks pretty smooth and then for this side as well and then just smooth it Okay, now let me unhide all, or maybe yes, unhide all. Mm, okay, I think our missiles are pretty high poly now. Till now, this one's looks pretty smooth. We don't need to just add turbo smooth to that. Maybe we don't need to for this, and this one looks good as well. So if you don't have to add turbo smooth, you don't need to actually chamfer but it looks good if you chamfer if you're seeing from far when light hits it it will look good okay I think um, we are done with this modeling of fighter plane uh, once again it's me Sansar and thank you for watching this tutorial bye bye